everybody, Goldie here, and today we're checking out the Chase character for the WrestleMania Goes Hollywood month-long contest. Um, as you saw earlier, Dakota Kai is our freebie. The leader of Damage Control, Bailey, is the Chase. Uh, let's get right to it. She is a defensive, modern-era showboat, trainer ability at 26k, green moves that deal damage will deal 100% more damage. And green moves start with two more move points. That is beefy. Um, Showboat Seamus, um, Tech Sammy, they enjoy that trainer ability. Lynx, Raw, any color moves start with one more move point. And Damage Control, Blue moves start with eight more move points. Modern Era, Gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Um, I do have the five-star gold for this preview, not the six-star. I do think the six-star build is the one that is going to be the build. Uh, but I will show the other specs for her. First one we're going to take a look at is available at four-star. It is the finisher with double purple. Finisher being the rose plant, 10 MP. Deal 121,913 damage plus 11,998 bonus damage for every trap gem and pin the opponent. Purple one, the running knee, 6 MP, deal 82,417 damage and make 20 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, make two random gems into protect gems of strength 85,858. If broken by you, increase your purple MP by two. And... Purple 2, the Saito Suplex, or Saito Suplex, 6 MP, deal 83,195 damage, and choose a 2 by 3 area to swap into yellow gems. Um, full disclosure, I don't have the characters to make this build as strong as it normally would be. You would want Acro Dragon for sure, um, and you would possibly want Mutant Finn. I don't have either of them, so this is going to be a free-to-play spec. Uh, which means I can put up my free-to-play approved sticker in the top right. Um, we're using Woods for Purple MP. Um, the new Dakota Kai moves that generate trap gems will create one more trap gem, and trap gems do 10% more damage. Um, K-Quick for finisher damage. Santa Hogan, because when in doubt, just put them on there. Uh, we are going to be doing an armor belt which doesn't happen often on this account um, because I'm always very wary about how the six-star kickout's going to be. Uh, but five-star gold, we're going to take a look at armor, try to get as much gem defense as possible. Yellow percent for the finisher, and then a cheap shot plate. Whenever you land a gem critical hit, reduce the damage of all your opponent's gems by 50% for one turn, and... Once again, the only open match for five-star gold female with a belt is Striker Bianca. So we are going to have a class advantage going into this match. Hopefully we can get some more five-star gold female opponents that actually have straps and medals. So we can get a better um, idea of how the cards actually play. But let's go ahead and see what she's got. They did her model so dirty. Dakota was excellent. This is rough. Um, okay, so running knee, 21 gems into trap gems. We're going to want to try to break at least three of them. Uh, choose a two by three to swap into yellow. If we had an MP match, we could probably hit the finisher turn one. We can try for a wild card here. But you know what happens when I try for a wild card? I cascade into oblivion. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. Well, shit. Never mind. Put out some more trap gems. Take a swipe. Don't cascade. There's no way we're getting a clean playthrough of this. 
255,000 on the finisher, 13K per trap. And when she breaks them on the kick out, she's going to toss out protect gems. So, and the cheap shot trick. I'm going to do this again just to show how it works when it doesn't go perfectly. <laughs> And we critical. So we criticaled on the finisher. The cheap shot play triggered. We got two sets of trap gems out. That's silly. Therefore, she's OP. That's a joke, by the way. Um, let's run that back just to show, you know, when things don't go that perfect. Because that was, that was ideal. That was ideal. We kept her down with like a 750k pin. So we gonna go ahead and run that back. Just, just in case. I think this time I'm not going to go for a wild card and I'll just swipe and I'll let her do stuff. Go down there. I do need to take another yellow match. And that's going to cascade down there. Eh, let's just do that. Reload our traps. All right, you get one shot, one opportunity. Lord, how that doesn't take the empty gems. I don't understand. I don't understand. All that room on the board and you decide to override my protects. Whatever. Ah, and she decided to go for a match and cover up her multiply gems. Oh, this game is so great. All oh, that room. That's fine. We'll hit the finisher. We wish her luck in her future endeavors. Go ahead and take this four match. Go ahead. Oh, okay. At least the protect gems go into the empty spaces. Uh, but that's going to be an annoyance for a lot of people. We're going to go ahead and do a slight variation on that to show how you could make it even more hellacious for your opponent. Let's go set that up. Next build we're going to take a look at is a slight variation of the one we just saw. Uh, but we're bringing in the five star move instead of the finisher, which is the diving elbow drop 7 MP. Deal 89,156 damage and choose nine gems to destroy. Now, I have, um, I have removed the free-to-play logo on this one because I have the stuff for this. Um, we're going to be using Woods for Purple MP. We're bringing in Judgment Day Rhea at 26k. We get plus two yellow MP. And Protect Gems generated from moves will reduce damage taken by an additional 65%. Earthquake is going to reduce the damage taken by 20%. And pay or, oh my god, I can never say it right. Play or pain bliss. I always want to say pay or plain. It sounds better, honestly. It's like the fire truck flan house. If you listen to the We're Going to Talk About Wrestling podcast, you know all about the flan house. Um, she's going to reduce the damage taken by 25%. So if I know how to do math, which I don't, uh, but 65 plus 25, so you carry the 5 at 70, that's 90. And then an extra, yeah, so that's 110%. I don't know how to make that do that, but it, it, the Protect Gems are going to be very strong. Very strong. Um, thoughts and prayers going out to this Bianca. I really wish there was a six-star opponent just so we could see what this does with the full armor and the cheap shot, but hopefully this gives a little bit of an idea be interesting to see how these protect gems scale at six star, but let's see um, what kind of ridiculousness we can get out of this. All right. 
We gonna do that. Watch as this is the time that I cascade. We're gonna trigger the cheap shot. We're gonna make our two by three. It's only a seven charge. I'm gonna put out more. We're gonna use this to destroy three of our trap gems because that'll give us six purple MP. We can hit this one more time. One, two, three. Get that out again. Um, okay, so I'm gonna swipe. Yeah, let's swipe. You heard the noise. It's a 22k pin. Those protect gems are 180k. Why is the sound all botched? Is that just me? Is that my headphones? Did they give us a female ref for International Women's Day? Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, breaking news. We found a six star node. All right. So because of the tours that came out today, we have a six star opponent um, with a showboat requirement. As you can see, I have already three starred the match. So this is not a competitive advantage on my part. But I want to see how these protect gems do against a six star kick out so we're gonna go against lita she's got 16 million health um and we have a dream and of course as soon as i hit the recording button palmer goes and knocks something over <laughs> and then i get food stuck in my throat this is going great okay No! Okay, well. It just means we can get more out. There we go. Start flooding the board. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that won't work. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three. Get out more traps. Again, you'd think those would have gotten covered up a little bit. And then a two by three to swap. I'm gonna go here because I'm hoping she takes that three match. We'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't make the noise. What? Really? You took blue? Oh, Jesus. Okay. So these are doing, um, they're protecting 180,000 damage, but unfortunately these traps are going to override or overwrite some of it. Or not. Or not. I don't know. We'll see. Don't cascade. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right. And 
Now a six star Bailey. This would get interesting. I'm hoping a trap gem lands there and that she takes that four break. Yay! Except how do I swipe out of this? I can't. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a protect gem. Oh my god, and then she gets the extra. No! Alright. I think that's GG's for us, folks. I think that be GG's. Yep, she no-sold it. All right, womp womp, but hey, we tried. We tried. I lost the match. It'd be like that. Not every content creator could do things in one take. Not throwing shade. All right, let's go take a look at a different build. Last build we're going to take a look at for Bailey is available at three star. And this brings in the submission and the two blue moves. Um, so the submission is the seated arm bar seven MP color submission. Choose seven gems to make into blue submission gems and do 120,223 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into protect gems of strength 28,715. So not nearly as strong as the protect gems generated from the traps. Blue one, belly to back suplex 5 MP, deal 177,083 damage and force your opponent to tag. Um, you can use it in a singles match. It's just, it'll deal the damage. It just won't have the effect. Um, and then blue to the sunset flip power bomb, five MP as well. Deal 177,083 damage and reduce owner's tag counter by three turns. This move has no effect in non tag team matches. So we're going to be doing a tag team match for this. The options on the road for women's tags are abysmal. So it's not going to reflect nearly as well as I would like it to, but we're going to make do with what we have. Um, starting with Kofi for the yellow MP, and then we're going to go super sub. Zombie AJ, Tech Drew, Acro Shelton. Uh, what do we do? We brought in the Kids Lightning to recycle, but that's not that's besides the point. Uh, brought in a 200% metal, and the thought process here is since the sub is a blue color sub, we want somebody on the apron that is going to do big damage or stun lock right away. Really hoping EO comes out this month as an acrobat and you can just tag her in and she can do triple blue and she can go insane. That's the dream. I know people want it, but their wallets don't. I don't make the rules. Or the, or the characters for that matter. Uh, but... What I'm going to do is use Lita on the hot tag. And I can go full yellow move damage with her. We'll use this sub to make sure this is loaded up. And then she can make her five match, three match, and then a high damage um, stun lock. So that's an option. Acro Bianca is an option with the triple blue. Um, six star Judgment Day Rhea is an option with the triple blue. You could do Liv. You could tag in Alundra. She's got a, a blue move that makes green, so you can get her going with her countdowns and her sub. Um, plenty of options to choose from. I mean, of course, you could also do Dakota, and then you wouldn't have to worry about... Oh, they don't even get a logo. That's nice. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about an MP trader on Bailey. You could just go right ahead with the blue moves, but my Dakota is not entirely leveled up. Um, so not the best representation, however. We're going to um, do a little bit of gameplay here, see what it looks like with Lita. And this is the only female tag match on the road that is open. 
Uh, thankfully, Sasha is a showboat with 2.1 million health, so we can do a little bit here. But um, let's just walk through how this would theoretically work. Um, I don't have the tour perks yet, so the sub isn't ready to go on turn one. That's fine. And because the protect gems are fairly weak, I'm not super concerned about keeping them on the board. So I'm going to make as many three matches as possible while still having um, some submission gems left over. That should ensure that Lita is ready to go. All right, so uh, belly to back soup. No, I'm going to do this one first, actually. Reduce owner's tag counter by three. So this is going to get Lita ready to go. Tag me in. I will momentarily uh, deal the damage. Force your opponent to tag. I realize Sasha's health is completely drained at this point. Again, not the most ideal options. Uh, but that forces in the other opponent, who in this case is a five bronze. So taking advantage of the weaker tag partner here. I don't, again, I don't really care about the protects. They're weak, so. Naturally, we'd cascade. Naturally. But you understand what I'm trying to do there. Get... Whoever your tag partner is who can deal big damage, use Bailey to basically do the heal thing, run away, hide, tag in the partner, let the partner do all the work. Damage control. Let's go ahead and wrap up the preview. Last thing I wanted to take a look at with Bailey is a potential six star build. Again, we do have a five star gold preview, so I don't know how everything is going to scale up, but initial reaction to the six star move, I would be running it with the finisher and the sub. Uh, it's the Bailey to Belly Suplex. Uh, choose a 6x6 six six area to make into trap gems. If broken by you, gain yellow MP. If broken by your opponent, steal health. Um, so breaking traps gives you the yellow. Run it with the seated armbar, which will give you the blue. Hit the rose plant finisher for the damage per trap because you're putting out 36. Um, so that would recycle quite well. When you get Dakota leveled up... Um, for the trap gem damage. If you have acro dragon, I feel like that would be a strong choice as well. Um, until then, big fan of the double blue, uh, not double blue. I know my colors, big fan of the double purple, uh, and the way that you can kind of cheese out these protects, they get really strong. Like, like we saw with earthquake, um, bliss and judgment day Rhea. Um, we can get that to like 180,000. So be interesting to see how that scales at six star, but until then, that concludes our first look at Bailey Damage Control. Again, to reiterate, she is a modern era defensive showboat. Trainer ability at 26k, green moves that deal damage will deal 100% more damage. Green moves start with two more move points. Um, again, showboat Seamus, Tech Sammy, um, Liv Morgan probably loves that too, right? Links, raw, any color move, start with one more move point. Damage control, blue move, start with eight more move points. And modern era gems do 5% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. How do you find Bailey as a playable character? What do you think of the training ability? Who do you think it would work really well on? How would you run Bailey? Any other questions, comments, concerns? Are we getting EO? That's the million dollar question I think everyone has. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.